नमस्ते आई एम प्रतिभा किनी वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल डू यू फाइंड इट डिफिकल्ट टू सस्टेन एनर्जी ड्यूरिंग योर डांस प्रैक्टिस और परफॉर्मेंस वॉन्ट टू नो हाउ टू इनक्रीज स्टैमिना देन दिस वीडियो हैज गॉट यू कवर्ड वी शेल सी वॉट स्टैमिना बेनिफिट्स ऑफ इंक्रीजिंग योर एंड्योरेंस एंड वेज टू इंक्रीज स्टैमिना टू हेल्प यू डांस बेटर एंड सो मच मोर सो डू वॉच द वीडियो टिल द वेरी एंड Also, I am delighted to announce that admissions are open for online Bharatanatyam classes with different batches for different time zones. You will find the details regarding the same on my stories, community posts on YouTube, and also on my Instagram profile. Do check it out. So, what is stamina and endurance? Endurance is our body's physical capability to sustain a physical activity for an extended period. It's made up of two components. cardiovascular endurance and muscular endurance cardiovascular endurance is the ability of our heart and lungs to fuel our body with oxygen muscular endurance is the ability of our muscles to work continuously without getting tired stamina is a result of increased endurance it can be thought of as the opposite of fatigue or the ability to feel energetic for a prolonged period For a professional dancer it might mean being able to get through an entire performance or a class without a dip in energy. So how to improve cardiovascular endurance? By performing aerobic exercises in which your breathing and heart rate increase for a sustained period of time thus increasing blood flow to the muscles and back to the lungs you could improve your cardiovascular endurance. Here oxygen is the main energy source and you breathe faster and deeper than when your heart rate is at rest example jogging climbing stairs swimming running aerobics cycling skipping and so on how to improve muscular strength and endurance by performing anaerobic exercises which involve quick bursts of energy and are performed at maximum effort for a short time you could improve muscular endurance So the body requires immediate energy and it relies on stored energy sources rather than oxygen to fuel itself. Example: jumping, sprinting, lifting weights, resistance training, high intensity interval training and so on. So what are the benefits of increasing your stamina? Perfecting your technique and style don't mean much if you don't have the stamina needed for dancing. When you're gasping for breath, not only do the simplest steps feel impossible, but your risk of injury also increases. Footwork loses its precision and the movement looks less efficient and more labored. When you improve your stamina, your lungs and heart are able to use oxygen better. This allows you to dance for longer periods without getting tired and the brain can focus on your beautiful moves or expressions and not the fact that you're tired and might not make it through the dance piece. Now that you know why you must perform aerobic and anaerobic exercises, how often should you perform them? Aim for 2 to 3 steady state endurance workouts per week with your heart rate at 70 to 80% of your maximum capacity for approximately 30 minutes. You could do strength training 2 to 3 times a week with a rest day in between. Include more rest days if you are a beginner. While planning your training, dance practice should always be on top of your list. This is undoubtedly the best way to see how you stand in terms of stamina and endurance for your performance. Having said that, you should also make time for cross training and build your stamina if you want to up your game. Cross training includes running, swimming, cycling, strength training, interval training, resistance training, body weight exercises and so on. Pick those activities which you enjoy the most which combine cardio flexibility and strength so your stamina will definitely improve One tried and tested method and the one which I follow to increase stamina is the progressive overload method What do I mean by this It means making gradual increases in either volume or intensity of your workout or dance practice Let's take running dancing and some body weight exercises like squats as an example 
So you will need to gradually make your workouts and practice harder by increasing either the number of adavus you practice, the number of repetitions of each adavu, the amount of time you dance for. Similarly, the distance you run, the speed at which you run, the amount of time you run for. When it comes to squats or body weight exercises, the number of sets you perform, the number of repetitions you perform in each set, the weight you lift while doing the exercise. Also, the trick is to combine exercise with healthy eating options. Ensure you hydrate and rest adequately to get the best of both worlds. I have already made a video on diet and nutrition for dancers and also shared some great pre and post dance practice meal ideas. Do check them out. Link is in the description box. It's now time for some HIIT. We will do six exercises and each exercise for 30 seconds with a 10 seconds break in between. That's when I will explain the next movement and you can grasp your breath. Be sure to push yourself and do not give up. First exercise is high knees. Stand with your feet hip width apart. Lift up your left knee towards your chest. Switch to lift your right knee to your chest. Let's begin. Continue the movement, alternating legs and moving at a sprinting or running pace. Next exercise in 3, 2, 1. Come on all fours, draw your hip back and step forward alternating between right and left. Let's begin. Make sure your palms are right below the shoulders when you start and your knees are off the floor throughout. Next exercise in 3, 2, 1. Start with your feet hip distance apart and lower into a squat position. Jump straight up and return to squat. Let's begin. Keep the spine straight, chest lifted and knees behind toes. Swing the arms for balance. Next exercise in 3, 2, 1. Start in plank position with hands under your shoulders, feet together. Jump both feet out wide to either side and back together. Continue to jump in and out. Let's begin. Engage your abs to help protect your lower back. Don't let your hips drop throughout the entire movement. Next exercise in 3, 2, 1. Drop your body vertically until your back knee touches the floor. Push down on your front foot to kick your back leg straight forward and up. Let's begin. Your front leg's thigh should be parallel to the floor and the knee should not cross the ankle. Next exercise in 3, 2, 1. Come into a plank, switch legs, pulling one knee into your chest and the other knee out. Let's begin.
check your form. Your hands should be about shoulder width apart, back flat, hips down, abs engaged and head in alignment. We stop in 3, 2, 1. Good job! This was a super short and quick high intensity interval workout. Try to repeat this 3 to 5 times and get as many repetitions as you can in 30 seconds. You could also increase the interval as you progress. Stamina is a crucial part of a dancer's performance toolkit. With some advanced planning outside the dance class, you can build your cardiovascular and muscular endurance to make performance less daunting. Should you need more guidance in this regard, do attend my strength and conditioning and yoga workshops which I conduct every month. That's all I had for today. I hope today's video was useful and will help you to improve your stamina. Let me know in the comments if this was helpful. Give me a thumbs up, click that like button and share it with your friends. Be sure to subscribe to my channel to not miss out on the useful content I post every Saturday at 7pm. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week.